Hey everyone, it's me and Lil King. Say hey everybody. Hey, it's my birthday month. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. Say if you're happy and you know, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, in your face you really show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, say amen. Amen. If you're happy and you know it, say amen. Amen. If you're happy and you know it, in your face you should surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, say amen. Amen. Say hey everybody. Hey everybody. It is Kingston's birthday month. March the 1st, he made one year old. One year old. Yes, he did. And we are so grateful to continue to celebrate the life and the legacy that my son, King Hal, left for us to love on, to cherish, to life. Every day we get to celebrate. And um, his birthday was a bittersweet. But sweet and bitter, he turned one, and it was the same. It's the same month that my son transitioned. And um, I just want to say to all out there who have lost loved ones, who are grieving the loss of a loved one, the loss of a job, a loss of a home, a loss of a relationship, uh, whatever grief or loss that you have endured, you ain't get down. Okay, go. Oh. To hang in there, it gets better. Don't allow death to devastate you, depress you, to get you down. Hold on to the good memories that your loved ones left for you because they did leave some good memories. I know mine's did. I can't truly speak for yours, but if you can search your heart and find out what it is that they left, it may not be a little one, like my son left for me, but yours may be some words of comfort that your loved ones left for you, uh, times that you spent, birthdays, holidays, whatever it was that you spent with your loved ones. Hold on and cherish those times. The pictures, go back and look at some of those pictures and the videos that uh, were shared. Go back and reminisce and smile because I do believe our loved ones want to see us happy and not sad and, and uh, mourning all the time. We're gonna cry, yes, I've cried. A lot of people may see these videos and say, oh, she's so strong. Oh, but baby, I have my times, I have my night, I have my mornings where I don't even wanna get up out of bed. I don't, but I refuse to allow death to devastate and depress me. And I'm speaking to somebody out there right now that is going through and don't feel like getting up and don't feel like carrying it on. Embrace your newness. That's all I can say, just embrace it. The pain is for some kind of purpose. I don't know, but I feel so led to encourage somebody out there that is hurting and grieving and going through the pain because I know it's real. Like they say, the struggle is real. It's real, it's very real. And just hold on to what is all those good memories, just hold on to that. Don't allow yourself to go there and say, well, they didn't catch my son's killer or my daughter's killer or my loved one's killer. Try to focus on that they will catch him. Focus on the positive, that they will catch him. And the best is yet to come. Hold on to the good time. And yes, and remember that there are some good days ahead and focus on, on all the positive energy that you can get out of, out of the death. I know that it's hard. I have my days, like I said, but I do believe the best is yet to come and I thank my son dearly for leaving us such a precious jewel. And each one of us have a little part of him that he touched uh, each and every one of our lives. You know, so Everyone has something that he left, a good impression. So I encourage everybody just to hold on to what your loved ones left, all the good. And here is this um, Kingston's first invitation. I was so um, impressed and proud of this invitation. 
His dad is looking over him, which was the first time he ever saw Kingston. He never got a chance to even touch him because Kingston is a miracle baby. He spent one month and one week in the hospital. So we, we most definitely were blessed to even have him. Uh, we prayed, we believed God for him coming out and being alive and even walking around right now. His little lungs didn't fully develop. He wasn't due until later on that month. But uh, he came early. And uh, so my son did get a chance to see him, but he didn't get a chance to hold him. But I know that he's watching over him and us. And so are your loved ones are watching over you too. So believe that and believe that one day you'll see them again. Hold on to that hope because there is hope after death. There is something uh, planned that is wonderful on the other side that our ancestors are watching over us and um, they're protecting us. They are angels. They got their wings before we did. So uh, God bless you, keep you, and the best is yet to come. Your sister, Soul Survivor.